Hi, my name is Hoy, and today we will be reviewing our mobile chestnut processing unit. This unit was made possible through a specialty crop block grant through the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Uh, majority of the design features you will see are directly from Dr. Greg Miller's uh, design and equipment out of Ohio. He is the owner and operator of Route 9 Chestnut Cooperative and Empire Chestnut Company. We have a heating system designed to treat chestnuts after they're harvested for the reduction of uh, insect damage in chestnuts. Uh, this is a mandatory step if the chestnuts are going to be shipped to consumers for consumption. And what we have done is created our, a unique system that is mobile and can be driven to multiple sites for smaller farms to utilize. And the key components are this hybrid water heater, a large stock tank where we can dunk our chestnuts, and then our control panel with a temperature probe and a, a couple water pumps to help circulate the water to various places. So I'm going to start the system up, uh, turn the main pump on, the injector pump, which will feed our water heater and then our water heater itself. The water heater functions through the uh, temperature probe so that when we reach the desired temperature of 120 degrees, it will shut off automatically and prevent us from overheating our nuts. So at this point, we're going to take our, our chestnuts freshly harvested from the field and fill our, our basket. All right, so we'll pour our chestnuts in. And then we'll raise up the basket, wing our basket over the stock tank, and submerge it in the water. At this point, the chestnuts would sit in the 120 degree water for 20 minutes. And at the conclusion of 20 minutes, we would pull them out um, any of the nuts floating on top would be removed at this point because they are defective in some manner and wouldn't be fit for consumption. So we would skim those off the top and all the nuts that sink to the bottom, we would uh, pull them out and we'll run them through our sorter after, after their treatment. So after our nuts have completed their hot water treatment, they're going to be uh, raised out of the water and allowed to drain for a couple minutes. And during that time, this is our, uh, our chestnut sorter. So another aspect of taking chestnuts to the consumer in the marketplace is standardization. And what this uh, piece of equipment does is uh, splits our chestnuts into various sizes. So we have three segments of a rain barrel or a 55 gallon drum uh, drilled with holes. The first set is seven eighths of an inch, one inch in the middle, and an inch and an eighth at the end. And this splits us up into uh, size small chestnuts, medium, large, and anything that would make it all the way through is considered jumbo and will come out the very end of the sorter. So our chestnuts have finished uh, draining and we'll raise those up. All right. And now we'll, we'll turn our sorter on. So we've run our nuts through our chestnut sorter 
and the different size segments have allowed different sizes to fall out of the, the, the barrels and into our representative buckets. So we have small, medium, large, and our jumbos. And here is a, an individual sample of each. You can see our smalls are measuring less than an inch. Our mediums around an inch. Large are at or a little over, and our jumbos are, are the largest yet. Uh, so the sorter works by slowly rotating all the nuts and they progress steadily from the, the entry point through uh, meeting each barrel segment and their uh, corresponding holes. The nuts fall out and are captured in the buckets and once they all uh, cycle through, we'll shut the machine off and bag the nuts up and mark them with their, their representative size.